Some seem to be the background image. For some reason, um, for some reason, it didn't work on mine. So if you've got the same problem, it's your background image. So just redo the design part and just put it a black a black background. So if you look at mine here, see, there's it's the same thing, just with a black background basically. Um, you can't rely on the Windows uh, form systems for C++ because they're un unreliable as crap, as you can tell. Um, as I'm sure you'll find out, I've had a ton of crashes with this. Um, not so much recently, but overall I've had quite a few crashes. So here we are with our timer again. So if you see anything slightly change, it's because I had to redo my interface. But other than that, everything will be the same. So things like, uh, I'll show you for example quickly so you don't get any worried about it. So for example, mine will now say uh, my interface instead of uh, DLL interface like I said earlier. So don't worry about that, that's fine. Um, a s the name will be the same here, so everything should be the same. So just keep following me and we'll have this done. Okay, so okay, guys. So I was, I was just quickly going over the uh, the thing about myself to make sure you guys weren't following bad code, and I found one mistake that was crashing the program. So good thing we found this early because otherwise it would have been a lot more difficult. So go back to your main. So if you haven't got access to it right now, go to View Solution Explorer and this main here, the one we create right here, and make sure you write return true here. We were getting uh, well, I was getting a crash, and if you guys didn't copy me or copied me, you'll have got that crash as well. So make sure you go return true there, please. Okay, otherwise there will be a crash. Um, so yeah, let's continue with this. So basically, I just commented out. Um, so, just do that. Yeah, so basically we keep going. We've done the first one. Uh, now the next one should be pretty similar. Let me have a look. Uh, Yeah, so I haven't actually tested if the AM was working or not, but we'll leave that till a little bit later. Um, so leave that as it is. Um, yeah, so that's the wrong one. So put in a few more here. So I'm going to need one for F2. Uh, those would be quite similar. So change that to F2. Uh, don't worry about these errors. They're just coming up. They don't mean anything. Make sure it's only if not else if or anything like that. Um, if you like, you know, you can put maybe something like this here, health, so that you know which one's which and so on. That's how I did on my original code. I mean, that's fully up to you. Uh, I'm not going to do them but all, but I'm just showing you what you should do, because I think that's a good idea. So, <clears throat> health, status label, health status label, write to memory, health address, okay, health address, and that's also health address, okay, there. Um, and I believe, yeah. So one press time equals clock. That seems fine. Health status, health status, is not equal to health status. That seems fine to me. What are you talking about? That's fine. The crying. Is it two? Health address. Am I still typing address with only one D? Now what's wrong with that? Health address and declared. Oh, I guess I typed it wrong at the start. Did I? Health. Oh, health is different. Sorry, yeah, health is different. We can't copy that one too much. Um, yeah, this one's a little bit different. Probably my bad there, following that exactly as it was. Uh, but it's similar. It doesn't matter. So one press health status is not equal to health status. Um, and this is we're just going to follow the old system. So um, address to write. I believe we declare this on top. Did we? Oops. Did we? Yes, we we did. Did we? I believe we did good, 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 good. That seems good so far. So address right equals find d m a addy. This is a function we're going to create in a second. Uh, one. That's the number of bytes I believe. Health. Uh, the pointer level actually it is offsets and health base address. Now, if you didn't do my console trainer, then this might be a little bit complicated for you. But basically, what it's doing is that uh, it's finding out the address that we need to write to, and then all we do is say if health status is not equal to false, uh, sorry, if it equals false, then we declare it as off here. So uh, this one's a little bit different to the other ones. Um, so we declare this here, you'll see that this is definitely unique. And then we put this here, copy this, get rid of that there. Uh, if I'm a status. Yeah, I believe we don't actually need this, so I'll just copy that for a second. 
if I'm a status, uh, we don't need that, so we'll indent that in a second if health status. We're not writing to memory, what we're saying is we're saying if um, to memory, da -da -da -da, health, health status, yeah, so if address to write is not equal to null, now we need to check this because if we try and write to memory and the address is uh, not there or it's um, null basically, then um, you will get crashed without a doubt. So if it's not equal to null, then we write to memory. Okay, so write to memory, health address. Well, it's actually address to write, not health address. So address to write, um, and that is default health value. So default, which is actually 100 health value. Okay, and that is uh, two bytes. So health status label text equals off yeah that seems fine to me uh, address to right equals one press time equals clock um, health status not equal to health status so let's just move these back a little bit press this button right here and we go back beautiful address to right equals find DMA ID now we're gonna write DMA ID quite quickly so let's go back here do, 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 do. let's get out of this function and create our own so make sure we're out of it good 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 so we now go down here to find out what find DMA does. Yep, it's a bit of a biggie. So if you did this before with me, you can just copy that function the find DMA. If you did the console trainer with me, just copy that function. It's exactly the same. Find, but I'll write it down for those of you that haven't done it before. Find DMA addy, and then we say int pointer level um, d word offsets sets and that's an array um, d word base address so that's the address to calculate from so first thing we have to say is say uh, this is tedious I've done this so many times pointer just, just gets annoying after a while if you keep repeating the same code over and again and um, what you do say here you say d word uh, I'm definitely not going to bother explaining this, I'm just going to try and do this as quickly as possible because uh, then we can get to the fun part, especially for those of you that have done this before, you don't want to see this probably skip about a minute or two ahead and you'll be there so we have pointer, um, pointer equals equals zero, now this is how we check if the pointer is null return null So yeah, like I said, this is to prevent crashes. So then we do a for loop to calculate our actual address for int i equals zero. i is less than because uh, zero i is less than pointer level. Then i plus plus. Is it pointer level? Yep, that seems fair enough. Oops. Uh, so this is our for loop to calculate our address. So then we say if pointer level minus one. Oh, sorry. If i equals equals i equals equals pointer level minus one. Okay, let's do that. Um, let's have a look. Then we say pointer pointer uh, equals d word. So we just keep calculating that address until we find the base which in our example is quite simple but I got want to make it available for you guys the um, um, in case you have like lots of pointers and stuff plus offsets I, is that right? no that's the uh, wrong brackets use the word pointer offsets what am I doing? Why I put a ton of brackets here? What a dumbass. There should be no brackets other than one. Actually one. Oh no brackets, please. Then we say this again. Blah blah. F1 equals now. Um, and then um, then we turn pointer. So we check if the pointer is null. If it's not, then we return the normal pointer. So that is only if it's on the last level. Otherwise, 
basically what we're going to say is going to say pointer let's copy that small part pointer equals d word um, and it's basically this bit you got to notice that the last bit does change and you don't use the pointer anymore the asterisks so make sure you got exactly like I have otherwise crushings please it might not crush actually it might just give you the wrong result and not overwrite anything so pointer equals word pointer plus offsets i that seems fair enough and then just like here if pointer equals equals zero we return null and um, we put this in here just to make sure all paths return a value because that's what they want us to do um, and we don't have much left to do yet so just hope you're bearing with me and we don't have too much to do so I'm going to do a quick check on this so if pointer uh, do word pointer equals do word uh, base address yeah that's fair enough if pointer equals equals zero is return null for int i is less than pointer level i plus plus if i equals equals pointer level minus one and that's a typo there uh, I'll press f6 in a second make sure we're okay level minus one pointer equals d word pointer plus offsets that's fine if pointer equals equals zero we return and then we return the pointer um, else uh, so if it's just a normal offset we go pointer equals d word yep seems okay pointer plus offsets i if pointer equals equals zero return null yep that seems fair let's press f6 quickly to make sure okay and we are great that's good to know so make sure our f2 is okay Status. Um, that status text on. That's good. Address to write equals find the MAID, and that's one point to level in health offsets, health base address. If health status not equal to true, health status dot text equals off. Uh, yep, that's good. Um, if address to write is not equal to null, write to memory. Address to write default health value and two bytes. Um, yeah, we don't actually need to have this here, do we? Yeah, this should be here. So yeah, we don't want to be changing that often, so just do that. Else, if it's true, if it's been set as false, then we set that as off. Otherwise, we just put the textures on. Um, and that's good. Yeah. Because once health status is true, then we're going to constantly spam the our number in there. 1337. Um, now, our next one is back to the first one. It's fairly straightforward. So, uh, it's our R fire one, so rapid fire. So, R fire, God, R fire status. So, yeah, just copy that, copy it to there. Uh, if else, just go R fire. The label, our fire, uh, our fire default opcode. In theory, this should all work if we, as long as we just copy all the our fires and replacing. But we, we know that in theory, a lot is supposed to work, but it doesn't. So, um, how many bytes are we sending in? Two. Gotta make sure we get those right. Our fire address, our fire opcode, our fire address, our fire opcode. That seems fair. Our fire status label equals off. That's good. Uh, our fire. Yeah, I think this should be rapid fire. Uh, don't crash on me, you fail. Uh, make sure the label is the same name. So make sure you're using these names. So it's at raw fire is this one, no time between shots. And that is called rapid fire status label. So that's what we're going to call that there. Uh, so go here, my interface.h. Make sure you've got that rapid fire label, uh, status label. And I'm happy with that. Let's pull an F6 quickly, make sure we're okay. Uh, great, great, as long as that's working. Off our upcode, just a quick check again, just make sure that's good. Uh, now we're going to work on our recoil now. We've done pretty much everything, so uh, our recoil is a bit of a beast, but um, we'll follow the same the same way we've done it. So I'm just going to put recoil here so you know exactly why this is such a beast, because we have so many addresses. So feel free to do all of them, I recommend you do that, but I won't because I'm in a rush. Uh, to get you guys finished with this, so one press time equals clock, same as usual. So then you say uh, recoil status is not equal to recoil status if recoil status. Um, 
recoil, um, just change that to recoil, hopefully that would work out. 